Saudi Arabia has decided two years ago to establish a, an organization, King Abdullah City for Atomic and Renewable Energy, to lead the transition of Saudi Arabia from just an oil and gas country to a more diversified energy country and hopefully a sustainable energy country. So we envisioned Mishkat to be the seed to grow this inspiration in the new generation. It all started by putting a clear vision for Mishkat, a vision that works for us. From day one, we worked with local teachers, students and parents from our community to develop this vision. It was simply to inspire the youth of today to be the energy innovators of tomorrow. Innovation is at the core of Mishkat's story. With that clear vision, we set out to build Mishkat, an interactive center for atomic and renewable energy. At the outset of the project, Care Care commissioned us to lead on the design, content and exhibit development of Mishcat. And since then we've supported them on the operational setup and running of Mishcat and that's a piece of work that continues today. The bit that excited us the most about the project was Amma's vision to open up the eyes of Saudi youth to the world of renewable energy and atomic energy into the future. We tried to develop a process that would allow um, us to achieve something very creative and very specific to our audience and the cultural situation, but also to do that in a cost-effective and time-effective way. When you design something, you do it in sequence. Because of the time scale for Mishka, we had to do everything running in parallel. So it drove a lot of design thinking. Well, the big challenge we faced with the building was a, a nine-metre grid of columns. So we decided to take that challenge and turn it on its head, make it positive, referencing traditional Arabic geometry. And so from the 3D into the graphics, it was there throughout the exhibition. Designing and building Mishkat, though, was only part of the challenge. Ensuring that a qualified team of interpreters and facilitators that participate in making every visit to Mishkat a transformational and impactful experience for our visitors was our real challenge. We um, interviewed over 100 people over a four day period. In that time, we only found seven people with the right skills and personalities and most of all, potential. We brought over the core team to the Science Museum in London. The, the museum's got an obvious national remit, being the National Museum of Science and Industry in Britain, but we've built up so much experience over the last 20 years with such large numbers of people that we're often called upon to consult internationally. Our involvement with the Mishkat project was really to take what we do best here, which is live interpretation, hands-on exhibits, but also the tone and style of how we present science to the public, to another culture and to another city. Well, going from on-site training at the Science Museum to on-site at Mishkat was a, was a fairly big challenge. However, even though the team were fairly young and inexperienced, they were such a brilliant bunch of young men and women. It meant that the training was a huge success. I think the um, collaboration with science centres around the world has been really critical for Mishkat. The team have had the opportunity to come and visit these institutions first hand and spend time with them and mentors have also gone out to Mishkat to, to help them and I think this has made a great difference. The Exploratorium is particularly excited about working with Mishkat and not just because of their focus on exhibits and programs but because of the way in which they focus on their staff building culture and building a, 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 an environment that focuses on learning and professional development for the very people at their museum. When I was young, we didn't have any scientist center here in Saudi Arabia, but now we have it here in Mishkat. Every morning when I come to Mishkat, I see the youngest scientist in Saudi Arabia go around the exhibit, try to discover a wonderful world. That's why I love Mishkat. My favorite exhibit is the build a circuit one. I like it because you can build a circuit and invent. And I want to be an inventor. I like working in Mishkat because Mishkat allows children to be creative. Uh, Mishkat gives us a new definition of responsibility. In Mishkat, I believe nothing is impossible.
My favourite thing in the Mishka exhibition is the hydrogen rocket. The hydrogen produces energy for the rocket to launch. We get hydrogen from water. As a teacher, I like being here in a very scientific place where I can teach my kids, my students, the uh, theoretical parts in my books and make it very practical and interactive. Well, I actually love working here. Have you ever had the chance to add a smile to a child's face? Well, let me tell you something. I do that each day right here at Mishka. The air blows the ball out and then it just comes. Sometimes it's touched the ceiling, sometimes it's just so that's how the energy inside that game is. It's one of a kind and it's like shaping the heritage for the future generation here in Saudi Arabia. What the exhibition does very effectively is to look at the different forms of energy, particularly sustainable sources, and explain why they're important for the world in general and for Saudi Arabia in particular. I do believe that we can be the kingdom of sustainable energy because we have the will, we have the vision, and we certainly do have the right resources. We have our children. Mishkat is receiving diverse groups of visitors, from primary school kids, all the way to university students and energy industry experts as well. But our prime audience is school students and the feedback we've been receiving so far is very encouraging. It was just wonderful to go back and see the completed Mishkat and to see the kids using it and the excitement and energy that was being produced within the building itself. I believe that Mishkat is very cost effective because it has got this integrated modularity. It means it can be easily updated into the future and things can be constantly refreshed. So we've got a system in place so that we can log into that remotely from anywhere in the world and um, examine the log files and update the software as required. Our Mishkat content team is responsible of making Mishkat content engaging, up-to-date, fresh, and we are updating the, ex the interactive exhibits on a um, weekly basis to make sure that the Mishkat is a place respected in the scientific community. Well, youth are at the core of the Mishkat experience, and so we take social media quite seriously for engaging and communicating with them. And so far, the responses have been very fulfilling. Mishkat sees itself as part of a larger international network of energy innovators. So far, our interpreters have presented in Europe and in North Africa in various international forums. But going forward, we're actively working with the Exploratorium in San Francisco on a joint program to be delivered in Mishkat. I'm very much impressed. I have visited more some 100 countries after I joined the IAEA, but this is the first time uh, that I see such a museum. If we consider that Mishkat's vision is not limited to the walls of Mishkat, but was to transform the whole nation from the kingdom of energy to the kingdom of sustainable energy. The Mishkat has succeeded in collaborating and working with other science, technology, and public awareness programs in the kingdom, and has succeeded in mobilizing its facilities to visit as much as cities and villages around the kingdom. So the answer is yes, we have engaged and we have aspired to build the future generation of scientists and engineers. I sincerely hope that the legacy of this initiative is that future generations of Saudi Arabia will be the innovative leaders of the global energy landscape.